Hey guys, welcome back to Crafting Princesses. So the long-awaited tutu tutorial is here. Um, first, I want to start with the materials that you will need as well as some options for getting those materials. You will need tool spools. And <clears throat> you want to get the ones that are 6 inches in width by 25 yards. Or if you order online, they are also available by 100 yards. But you want to make sure that it is 6 inches in width. This tool here is one that I purchased from papermart.com. They're about $1.35 a roll and awesome, awesome material. Um, so these ones here are, I believe, the 100% nylon and they're very stiff and they hold true to their shape. Um, so like, for example, if you were to cut a piece of the 100% nylon tool, and roll it into a little ball. If you were to unfold it, you can get it shaped back and then you can um, take out any little wrinkles or creases there might be. So that does help preserve the life of your tutu. I know this one, sorry, is like light pink so you can barely see it, but if I fold it, you see that it looks right back to new again. The <clears throat> cheaper polyester type tools so like this one for example is from walmart and during the seasons they sell them for a dollar pay attention to how much yardage you're getting so this is six inches by 20 yards where typically i like to use the 25 yard roll um, spools but five yards short can't beat a dollar however the quality of this tool is cheaper and you can tell um, so these I would not recommend if you're making a tutu to sell. I would use these for personal use for your little one or like a one-time deal. So when you ball up these ones that are of polyester, they tend to wrinkle a lot easier and it's a little bit harder to get those wrinkles out so you can tell the quality of your tool as you're making your tutu um, so you can see it's still a bit wrinkly there um, you can tell the quality of the tool that you buy I prefer to buy online and buy the 100% nylon tool so I got these at Paper Mart online is always the better option if you're in a pinch or you're looking for something in particular, Michaels does also sell tool. This one here was $2.99 for the roll and it's only 10 yards, but it is a hot pink glitter tool. And so the customer that I had made a 224 did want hot pink glitter in hers. So I spent a few extra dollars to get this one. You can also get the tools that are not a dollar from Walmart, so they sell like the Ofre brand. And there's so many options you can purchase on eBay, Amazon, whatever you'd like. So let's get started with cutting your fabric. <coughs> and excuse me, I am still sick. What I like to do, I've seen many different methods for cutting tool, um, including using cardboard and then wrapping the tool around it and then just cutting on each end. I don't like to use that method because I feel like my ends are not straight and I don't have as much control as when I'm just using a measuring tape on a table. So if I want a tutu that is 10 inches in length, I want to double that measurement to 20 so that the end result is 10 inches. So I just roll out my tool I tape down a measuring tape to my table and then I just cut a straight line at the 20 and then when folded in half this is going to give you a 10 inch length tutu. So I'm just going to keep rolling it out and cutting at 20. Now this is a time consuming process. You will get faster the more often that you do these and that's why I've seen some shortcuts where people will use the cardboard and then just wrap it around a few times and then just cut twice or once on each end. But I, I feel like it's not as straight 
as when you just do it one piece at a time. So this is my preference, but do whatever you like. I'm just gonna keep cutting some of this and I will meet you back to show you how I attach it to the waistband. Okay, so I have put a crochet elastic waistband on an adult dress form, although I typically do make these for children, but right now I do not have a child dress form to show you, so I'm just gonna use the adult one. There are different waistband options you have. So this one is a crochet waistband that I buy on a spool like this. Um, so this is from Hobby Lobby. They are usually $2.99 a roll, but I go when they're 50% off, which is every other week. And so I get that for half the price. And it's, how many yards is in this? There's two yards in here. So you can actually make, if it's for an adult, you can make three to four waistbands. If it's for a child, you can actually get around six waistbands out of this. Um, so it's very cheap to do. And then you just, I just hand sew mine or you can use your sewing machine. So I'm going to show you one way to make your tutu. So I have my pile of tulle that I had cut. And I'm going to fold each strip in half. And I like to go with the way that it curls. So you'll notice that your tool will curl in a certain way. So I fold it in half following that curl, and then I fold it in half again, like that. I take my fingers and I twist it right in the center. That not only helps to make sure that both of my ends are going to be even, but it helps get it through the holes in here a lot easier. So, I'm going to start at the bottom, and you can either do one layer, two layers, or three layers when using this kind of waistband. I do two or three, which, which, bleh, excuse me, with each of mine, depending on how full you want your tutu to be. So I'm going to pick a hole at the bottom. I'm going to put the folded end of my tool through that hole. And then I'm gonna take these two pieces, slip it through and pull gently. And there's one. The reason you wanna pull gently is the crochet material for the waistband can stretch out if you pull it too hard. So remember, twist the center there Pick a hole, put your folded end through the hole, and then pull the other two pieces through. And so you don't wanna stretch out your waistband. Now also, I found that when I am finding the proper size for the waistband, I will get the waist measurement of my customer or for myself or my daughter, whoever it is that I'm making it for. And I will cut the waistband to be about five inches smaller than what the actual waist size is because the elastic will stretch out no matter what you do in the process of making your tutu. Okay, so remember to just fold it in half, fold it in half lengthwise, twist the top, find your hole, Stick that through and then pull both ends through the circle. So you can see here that the tutu is coming together. And then if you were gonna do two or three layers of this, what you would do then is just pick the hole on top of the one you've already put on there. So I have this one. There is a hole and a square above that. And so I'm just going to put my tool through the hole right above it. And then I have two layers. And if you want, you can do three layers.
So I'm going to go through the hole right above that one. <clears throat> so you can see even just doing this little bit how much fuller a three layer tutu would be. So if I turn it to the side, so this is one layer, and then if I only have two, that's what that would look like. And then with three, it is extra poofy. These are the ones that if you do three layers, it's gonna stick out and come up like a little poof ball. Um, the single layer ones tend to lay a little more flat. So depends on what look it is that you're going for. Now I'm gonna show you another elastic waistband option. When I'm doing single layer tutus, I prefer to just use a three quarter inch non-roll elastic. So this one here is black and this is three quarters of an inch wide and it is a non-roll elastic. I'm gonna do the same thing by folding it in half, but instead of, I don't like doing the slip knot, which is what I did on the crochet waistband. I don't like doing that with this kind of elastic. I actually pull it through and then make both sides even and I do a double knot. Like that. And then um, you just wanna make sure that your ends are even. Sometimes with this method, your ends might be a little bit uneven, but I just take my scissors and even it out. So again, for this kind, I just bring my strip through, make it even, and I do a basic double knot. And then you don't wanna pull too tight, and you wanna make sure that this part up here stays even like all the rest. These ones are a little faster to make, obviously, because you're not using three times the amount of material. And um, with the crochet waistband, there are a lot of holes that you have to fill in. So with these, um, they're really easy to do for a quick gift or for a playtime outfit for your little one and they look amazing in pictures honestly they look pretty much the same as the triple layer ones the triple layer ones are just extra extra poofy that's the only difference but otherwise you end up with the same thing and that's it um my tips would be Make sure that when you're cutting your material, that is one of the most important parts that you cut it all straight because that's going to affect the end result of your tutu. You want it even and straight like that. If there are any mistakes, they're pretty easy to fix. Just take your scissors, even everything out. Um, you have so many options. You could do multiple colors. You can even with the um, elastic like this, you can do more than one layer. You can just take another piece of tool so if you wanted to do shorter or like a pixie cut tool on top which I'll do a video for those later um, you can just tie on top of the layer that you had previously done so I usually go like in between two of the knots before and then when you tie it on top, it's going to sit in the middle. So then you can have a double layer like that. All right. So I will do some more in-depth tutorials for different designs and different ideas for tutus and dresses that you can make. If you have any requests or suggestions, please leave a comment below and I will do my best to make it happen. Thanks for watching.